good morning friends today also we'll be discussing the basic concepts of the very law uh, which is the port port declaration connecting to the ports to the uh, external uh, uh, external signals and also port connection rules so these are the topics which we'll be covering today okay so whenever we are writing a program in a very law we should be very clear with the inputs and outputs declaration if we don't declare input and output declaration properly then obviously you are not going to get the result as expected okay so that is why this plays an important role okay so we will study different uh, types of ports available in the very long the usage of these ports how it is been connected and everything so will be discussing today okay so ports provide the interface by which a module can communicate with its environment for example the input output pins of an ic chip are its ports the environment can interact with the port module only through the its ports the internals of the module are not visible to the environment this provides a very powerful flexibility to the designer the internals of the module can be changed without affecting the environment as long as the interface is not modified ports are also referred to as the terminal so here i can see one example where he has given for a full ladder there are some incoming ports and there are some outgoing ports so incoming ports we call it as a input ports and outgoing ports we are calling it as a terminal as a output ports and this is a program which i am writing for a top module right so the module top is the top level module the module full ladder is initiated below top the module full ladder port takes inputs on ports a b and c in and produces an output port of some and c out as we have observed from this figure okay so input ports are a b c in and output ports are some and c out right so this i need to write using the components of a very long so how i am going to define so i am going to write module module name full ladder for so what are the variables i am getting sum c of a b c in right or i can write module top for the simulation part next is port declaration so what is a port declaration input output input your input is a input port output is a output port in out is a bidirectional port so how to declare now sum c out a b c in so sum c out will be output port a b and c will be input port so that is how i need to declare so if it is a four bit value so you can declare in a vector also so i am writing module so okay so module full ladder four right sum c out a b c in okay output full ladder four means it is a four bit full ladder so output sum will be of four bit so 0 to 3 c out is what single bit so there is no declaration of a vector so output c out but what about input it is a four bit data so ab is four bit data c in is a single bit so input 3 is to 0 ab input c in n port in terminal n module c is in this block diagram you can observe that carry out of the first module uh, of full ladder carry out of second module full ladder carry out of third so those three will be declared it as a wire that is not presented here so that also you should keep in your mind okay so note that all port declaration are implicit declared as wires in very law that those if the port are intended to be a wire it is sufficient to declare it as a output input or in out input or in out ports are normally declared as wire however if output port holds the value then must be declared it as a register right so port declaration for this d flip flop also you can see module d flip flop q d clock reset q n q is the output d clock reset are the input so q value output q register q declare it as a register input d clock reset so this is one more example n module this is how you declare the outputs and input for a d flip flop right then port connection rules right so for input how you need to connect for output how you need to connect 
for the in out how you are going to correct so to explain that one there is a concept called as port correction rules okay so one can visualize a port as consisting of two units one unit that is internal to the module and the other that is external to the module okay now internal and external units are connected there are rules governing port correction when modules are initiated within other modules the verilog simulator complains if any port connection rules are violated so if this connection is not correctly marked then you are not going to get the output properly if you just write abc and if you write z so you don't know what is abc whether input output or in out right so it is very clear if you declare both as input then where you will observe the output so there are some correction rules which you can observe so now you can see that there is a internal module and there is a external module so external module it is a net so internal module also it should be a net okay external module if it is a net the internal module can be a output register or net okay external world is a register or net the internal value can be a input or a in net so these are some rules which we need to follow right so as i said there are multiple things which we need to follow for the connection rules for the inputs internally inputs must be defined always as a type net value external the inputs can be connected to a variable which is a register or a net output internally output ports can be defined as a register or a net externally output must always be connected to a net they cannot be connected to a register value in not internally in not port must be always be of a type net external in not port must always be connected to a net and one more thing what you have to uh, find in this connection rules is the width matching so input is 2 bit output also will be 2 bit input is 3 bit output also 3 bit it should be matched otherwise you are not going to get any values now default simulators are in such a way that if uh, bits are not matching it will append zero and it will update and it will perform the operation so width matching is also an important connecting rule it is a legal to correct internal and external items of different sizes with when making intermodule port correction however a warning is typically is used that the widths do not match then something called as unconnected ports so if connected ports is not perfectly defined then you will get an unconnected port error then there is a illegal port connection Right, we will just observe the example. Very long allows ports to remain unconnected. For example, certain output ports might be simple, uh, simply for debugging, and you may not be interested in connecting them to the external signal. You can let <coughs> let a port remain unconnected by initiating a module as shown below. See here, some A B C. So there is no C out left. So output port C out is unconnected. That is a error warning which you will be getting. illegal port connection module top register register value full order fs some co so illegal connection must be output ports must be in the some module so these are some illegal connection which you need to avoid otherwise what your program will be not executed right so connecting ports to the external signal see here having variables that should be mapped to the external signal then only you are going to get the output otherwise no there are two methods of correcting between the ports and the external signal one is from the ordered list okay correction between can be done in the ordered list so ordered list is what so correcting by ordered list is a most initiative method for most pinner the signals can be connected must appear in the module initialization in the same order as the ports in the port list in the module definition you observe your module top register a b c in some co so it is in order which i am going to do i will not miss any of the variables that is the advantage which you have and see in the stimulus program also it is in order some c out a b c in so it is following some order this we call it as a order list this is the one thing which you follow when you will not miss any of the connection that is the advantage of the order list okay correcting ports by name so this is one more option right so like you have a carry in you have a carry out you have a sum you have a input you have a output so these are multiple ports which are available 
and these can be identified by the names. So you can write here dot c out for this c out, dot sum for this sum, dot b for the input b, dot c in for the input c in, dot a for the input a. So these are the connecting ports by the <coughs> names. Then finally, hierarchical names. So all things will be written. Then these names will be given with a dot. Okay. So hierarchical names supports the design methodology. Every module instance signal or variable is defined with an identifier. A particular identifier as a unique place in the design hierarchy. Hierarchy name referencing allows you to donate the thing. And it is done with the help of a dot. Some of the example of hierarchy name is followed here. So stimulus code, root level, SR latch, NAND gate, NAND 1, NAND 2, Q bar value. So there is some hierarchical naming format which I'm following here. And this I'm going to write in the stimulation part as stimulus.q, stimulus.q bar, stimulus.reset value, M1 value, M1 R value, reset value, N1 value. So this is how you are going to write the hierarchical names for the connecting ports. Okay. Thank you.